In 2007, Cummins added after treatment to their line of engines, the mid-range and heavy-duty on highway. The after treatment at that time consisted of a diesel oxidation inlet catalyst and then a diesel particulate filter. Today we still have those two pieces, but they've added the SCR element, or some people call it the SCR brick. Tonight we're going to take a look at the diesel oxidation catalyst, what it does, some of the problems you can experience that are circled around it, uh, some of the fault codes, and then what can cause those uh, problems to happen. So let's take a look here on Engine Shop Joe. This is a typical diesel oxidation catalyst. They aren't usually that uh, thick of a unit, probably about 6 to 10 inches is the thickness of most of them. Their sole job is to make heat, and they do that by oxidizing fuel that enters into them, whether that's misted fuel or whether it's soot. The two green arrows represent the temperature probe. There's three probes in the after treatment that does not have an SCR on it. Those probes are at the inlet of the diesel oxidation catalyst, the outlet of the diesel oxidation catalyst, and then the outlet of the diesel particulate filter. And of course, those two, uh, the DPF and DOC are bolted together. So uh, the orange lines represent the area where soot would build up if you're having trouble with face plugging. If that area becomes completely plugged with soot, then we're not able to measure temperature. Let's take a look and see what happens in this illustration. This illustration represents a diesel oxidation catalyst shown on the right and a diesel particulate filter shown on the left, both together as an assembly. The three red lines that are on the top of it represent the temperature probes, and then the dashed arrows represent heat traveling through it. On the right, the two heavy black ovals represent soot that has built up thick enough to cause face plugging. Face plugging simply means that that, uh, hot, tent, that hot air, hot exhaust, cannot enter the element because it is blocked. So what happens on the outlet of the diesel oxidation catalyst is you end up with a cool spot because no hot air is coming through those channels that are blocked by the soot. It does come through the center. Soot will always build up from the outside edges in. And then once it blocks the airflow to where the temperature probe, which only uh, enters the catalyst about an inch and three quarters, once it blocks an inch and three quarters of that uh, tube area, then you have a cold spot. So now the ECM sees hot air coming in on the right and cool air in the middle and then hot air going out in the back. And that when it sees that, it'll start logging catalyst-faced plugged fault codes. This is called a diffuser. It's just basically a plate with holes drilled in it and its job is to make sure that the air that comes down into the after treatment travels across the catalyst evenly. So you can see on the left, that's where the pipe would come from the turbocharger into the diffuser housing. And it's just a big empty can with that plate welded in it. And then the air coming through there has to go through those holes so it's evenly dispersed across the diesel oxidation catalyst. This is the typical temperature probe. You can see they're not very long, probably a total of about three inches. You lose about a half an inch where it comes into the bung and then through the housing. So that's all the area you've got to sense temperature inside of your after treatment. Here's a list of the most common things that'll cause catalyst face plugging or catalyst inefficiency faults due to face plugging. Boost leaks, EGR system leaks, exhaust system leaks before the turbo. That's because if you got a blown exhaust gasket, the turbo exhaust gas pressure slows down. The EGR system get, goes off out of sync. You also have turbo speed loss 
the turbo doesn't spool up right, then you can have boost problems. Uh, turbo VGT position failure, again related to boost. If you don't have boost, the fuel going in the cylinder doesn't get burned and you end up with smoke coming out the exhaust. Smoke is unburned fuel and it's always a little sticky. And if you have too much soot hitting that catalyst constantly, it'll face plug. I'm not sure quite why it will start at the outside and work its way in, but it does. Uh, continuing down the list, low fuel pressure faults. That's because the ECM can't fire the injector and meter properly. And sometimes you don't end up with a nice crisp end to injection. Remember that injector is fired five times during each power cycle. Two warm-ups, a pre-burn, a post-burn, and then a cleanup. Overfueling modifications, uh, mod kits people put on to raise fuel pressure so they get more power, things like that. Failed to plug sensors, failed EGR cooler because coolant can cook onto the face of the catalyst and cause the same fault codes. Doesn't necessarily have to be soot. Soot's the more, more common thing. Of course, if it's coolant, you ought to notice that you're, you're having low water faults and not sure where they're coming from. Uh, engine burning oil or turbo passing oil. If enough oil gets back there, it can plug the face. Raw fuel in the exhaust. An example of that would be the injector for the DPF. Starts dripping on the back of the turbo um, cast iron housing there. And a damaged or melted diesel oxidation catalyst inlet near or covering the area where that temperature sensor has to sense. So how does the ECM know that that ring of soot is there on the catalyst? Well, you've got three temperature sensors. If you've got a clear airflow all the way through, it's going to sense greater temperature between the DPF and the inlet of the catalyst. We'll call the sensors one, two, and three. One is inlet to the DOC, two is out of the DOC, three is out of the DPF. So if you've got a nice clean flow of air, you're going to have at, at the minimum the same temperature. And by the way, you're allowed plus or minus 50 degrees, usually before it'll log a fault, because temperature probes aren't all exact. So 50 degrees is kind of the, that's the number common says if you're outside of 50, uh, when you, they should all be the same temp, then there's a problem with one of the probes. So uh, if you've got a temperature drop of more than 50 degrees and the middle one's cooler than the front one, it will log fault codes for uh, catalyst face plugging. And that's how it knows. Thanks for joining me. See you next time on Engine Shop Joe, where we'll continue to talk about the after treatment.